Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Bond Club review, or well, Bond Club playset review in this case. And this one's on the Battle of Metro Nui from 2005, of course. So on the front of the manual, we would have the Bond Club logo, Metro Nui above it, and Battle of Metro Nui right there. And then picture of everything, and, and of course, big Battle Royale going on with the mini figs there. And then Lego logo and recommended ages 8 to 16, set number uh, 8759. And then this front page of which have the uh, Bonk logo and Bow Metro Nui again, and all the Tohordika mini figures, of course, and semi realistic picture of, this, of the whole set there. And then have uh, advertisement of Lego.com or Lego Shop at Home. Advertisement of Lego Club and then out of Bond Club 3 movie. And then out for the Bond Club website at the time. And advertisement of all the Viserac and Tohordika and other two playsets which I have previously reviewed all of. And then a large realistic picture of the set again and all the features of it. And then the last building steps. First off, with all the mini fixes, we have Glaucoma Wenua, which I'm not going to say any much about that since they're just the same as in the other two play sets of that. So, not that. And then have uh, Matau and Nuju. And then Nokama and Oniwa. Then next to it. And of course you have all the new, all the mini visceracks. As I said in my other reviews, the pincer part to them. Oh, it's closely resembling the actual sets, of course. And all of it glow in the dark, obviously. And, and of course, like I said in my other reviews, and also like the uh, jumpers in Invasion from Below line of Hero Factory, if you press on the back part and leaps them off, of course. And then, so now onto the big lead Viserac here, which kind of a bit like in the uh, Web of Shadows movie, which if you remember that, which Rudok uh, kind of stands and rides onto the this part of which, but although you don't get a minifig of Rudok here in this set, would have been nice if they did so, you know, have something exclusive to this set, but maybe that would have been a little much. And so now, as for the pinchers here, same as the white Viserac, Zucarac ones, and then uh, the red Viserac, uh, Rotorac set kind of piece, but in gold, which unlike how in Viserac Battle Ram set, which also did uh, that, but of a different one, of course, so good to you see a different color piece for mocking, and had the Borag eye teeth in dark trans red of course and like all the Viserax can pinch then press it and pinch those together and as for these front legs of which the Tomata limb pieces in dark blue like we saw on Kreka in the previous year and then going down to the uh, traditional Viserac foot piece in which then the back part of which just the blocky waist in dark blue and also the hand connector Double kind in dark blue as well, and Vaki limb and traditional Viserac foot there. Then the bottom part, which is a little different than all the Viserac sets, but where unlike the others, they just uh, just don't have anything going on there. But with this, we have the some Technic uh, beam and some workings and a pair of rubber bands. But so now the feature with that is load a mini Viserac into there and pull on this back. Pull on this 
back and launch it right off to that. So good fun feature that is. Oh, and also, obviously, like all the Visor accents, is have a Rituka spinner on, on here. And of course, launch it off like so. And so now on to the Balmetrodui itself. So, which, as you can see, quite large for how it is. And kind of takes up most of the space on in this review uh, station, of course. But, however, like the Tower of Toa set, it's, can act, it's actually semi modular for that. So, kind of show the sections of it. So, for this front section, which does have this large specific piece of a gate part, like we saw in Tower of Toa and Prague Stronghold the following year, and Toa Terrain Crawler for that. But, however, this which has a little bit more going on, but also a slot for a Rituka Spinner for some reason. Like, get one Rituka Spinner, but only set to have it in glow in the dark for that. And, of course, put that in, and, well, if you have it, and so. Let's do that again. And of course, let it fly off like the rest, but not sure why I have it like that, when I think maybe it could have been put upwards like all the other sets. Like, of course, whereas this whole set, which only set to have two Rituka spinners going on in. So kind of a bit different than the rest, but yeah. And then also backside, which which is quite hollow and vacant, but what those gear parts are for, which I'll go over in a minute. But also do have this large gate part, like we see in some castle sets, which you can uh, lean right forward and enough room to uh, have a couple of minifigs walk right through, of course. And as for the lower base part, of which does have a couple jagged slopes and uh, Toamata headpieces, but in Kitorin. Nice to get in that color scheme and use for mocking. And as for the, have a little rod connected on some bits and a gear holding that to uh, lower and move the drop bridge right here. Now this rampart with a couple of uh, two by four by six bricks and a couple of bits on there and also talking about light blades on the sides for that and also those gears that I mentioned earlier or, well these bits of which that if you turn on them and these rocky staff pieces kind of fly right out as kind of a hidden ambush feature but yeah and that's it this gate section and also get like two of these little catapult kind of sections but as you can see, which are asymmetric, or a little opposite of each other. So, do get a lot of symmetry in this set, which, since for me being a symmetry person, quite like that, of course. Which, as you see, does have a, a large, ugly rock piece, kind of taking up most of the build, and have a couple of larger bricks just stacked and all, since it's how LEGO was at the time, and had the space guns going on around here but just as extra detailing and a couple jagged slopes with the uh, tooth bricks on there and also you have this little technic build going on right here and also as you can see it does have the light staff pieces again and also a little area to like put this little boulders kind of section to it and if you notice this technic assembly here that press on that and the flings it right up that so it's still quite a fun feature of course and as for these little tower kind of sections well both of which are quite the same but just opposite kind of siding but yeah like for this one which which both of which you have large lot jagged slopes but in dark red which is how most Lego builds were like at the time and how are the bonds part of which which is quite hollow and spaced out but there's a reason for that which I'll show in a bit and, and of course are all protected by these uh, blocky blades 
or Rocky Board Act kind of blades, acting as like uh, guard posts around it. And also, and like we saw in the uh, Tower Toa set, are these panels with these kind of markings around them, which are probably like Matoran Universe kind of symbols on them. And then have the same exact blaster pieces around there and X random cylinder piece on there and and a little rod holding a Pohatanuva cloth piece but in a key torrent kind of color. So it's kinda of neat to see there. And so now the feature which is in both in, in here and also on here that if you put one of these boulder pieces on there and then like press it inwards and it drops right out. So of course acting as like a little trap door feature. So let's do that one more time. And as for this tower section, which is with by one bricks, I would put this two bit there kind of randomly and then as further upwards have this one part of which which is this uh, extra large brick on here like we see in most earlier Harry Potter sets but just, so kind of nice to see that outside of earlier Harry Potter sets then <laughs> and you have plenty of jagged slopes other kinds in dark red of course and then a little upwards it has this archway piece like the lower part of it so at least kind of a bit of symmetry but upwards for that and then also have a Tomata head piece but again inky orange for that it's still nice to get here and then kind of randomly are these little hinge rods but in trans neon yellow oh, that. nice to get in that color of course probably to represent like at flaming towers or something and then have this large uh, castle uh, topper piece but in dark red and uh, Vakama Hordika's uh, flame sword piece but again in dark red like the actual the original set of that and a couple random by one bricks right there and of course but luckily enough space to stand figs onto a course and then, and of course, on both set, both towers do have the Lego string pieces in dark and green representing Viserac webs. And also, as I mentioned for that, is that the Viseracs, the clip part of the mouth parts, can like fit right into their own. They're like that to make them look like they're climbing on their webs, of course. And now how to get these all together is just like how with most castle sets and also the Tower of Toa set, of course, which is with the little pins on the sides, of course. So now, if you're looking to display this like on a shelf or something, make sure it's a wide enough shelf to do that on. Since of how the depth of it, it is kind of a bit like upwards. Although it would be nice if there was some extra uh, bricks on there to like have it perfectly level with that. Although you, but I'm sure you can like add that in if you wanted. But yeah. And so now, on to the final verdict. So overall, I think this is a great playset of that. And of course, well representing some bit of Metro Nui along with the other two, obviously. And also nice to have, great to have the lead Viserac 
a kind of build for that. Despite being in a large, not being in like proper scale of that, well, would have been a whole set on its own, which would have worked out as well, but uh, maybe that's just me. And also, as for the playability of this set, you get quite a good lot of that going on, even though, and of course, the size of which, quite good for the $80 or $70 to $80 that it was at the time. Same with some of the larger vehicle sets for the following few years after, but yeah. And of course, quite a long wide one like we saw with some earlier castle sets, which like in Knight's Kingdom 2 and such. And of course, there's, and, and of course, good few good recolors of which, like for the Pohatu Nuva claws and the uh, Toamata head pieces again, but yeah. And also, good to have a, a bit of a castle set feel to that, even while it's in Bionicle, of course. Although you could modify this to be kind of bon uh, traditional castle related. If to fit in with a castle set display and not so bonicle ish, but yeah. And of course, the uh, castle uh, tower top parts in dark red, good to add into the to any box related to that, but yeah. And also good to have a to let there be two Tuka spinner or launching parts, with, even though all the sets usually had one, of course. And of course, one that is glow in the dark, a little different than that, but yeah. And so now, if any of you uh, would still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and are still looking to get this set, I'd say definitely get it. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.